Welcome back to another awesome video guys and today we're going to be feeding the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake So got a little bit of information about this here pit viper we have in front of us This is the largest rattlesnake and venomous snake in North America With some individuals coming between three and six feet long with more coming up around seven or more so this is going to be a whole lot more rare to see those bigger ones out there, but most of you ones that you will run across will be around this size. They are found primarily in Mississippi, Louisiana, Georgia, South Carolina, Florida, and a mother couple other places. So I got a little map here on the right side of the screen so you can check those out. And it's a pretty common rattlesnake in some areas and more in danger in other ones. So, uh, another cool fact about this snake is they can actually interbreed with the timber rattlesnake, which the babies I have as well. They make a hybrid rattlesnake, which hopefully we can have some of those here in the future. Definitely plan on working towards that goal, but we gotta let our snakes grow up a little bit more. So, another thing about this snake is they can have a litter size from four to 20 offspring. So this will definitely be a awesome thing to have, but they do reach sexual maturity a little bit later than other rattlesnakes, which is probably around three to five, six years long, but they only reproduce every other year once they get to that point, I'm pretty sure. So we got a little bit of waiting to do, but it's still gonna be a fun project nonetheless. Maybe we can get some albino stuff here in the future as well, but you just never really know with these snakes. So, let's go ahead and get started with feeding this here beautiful snake that we have. I know he's probably ready because he's been looking at me, moving back and forth like he's ready to strike. So, I've definitely been trying to stay pretty safe. That's the key thing because I can't take care of my snakes if I'm dead, obviously. Whew. I'm scared to even put them in here, you know? Ooh, move back up. Not gonna need to do that. Oh, he missed. What's wrong with him? He's like, I ain't know what that was. That was a weird reaction coming from him. Crazy snake. Hopefully we can catch him because he wants to come over here to the other side. I gotta give him some fresh water and do some other things with him today. I just figured I'd go ahead and feed him first before we really did anything too, too crazy. Because I want to get him back in his hide and get him back comfortable. Ooh, that was one heck of a strike. See, I had to move the camera angle over just to come see it for you guys. Now that was a strike from the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. That's the stuff we've been wanting to see. And it's about time he lit him up. I think maybe with this warming up weather, maybe the snakes are getting a little bit more accustomed to everything. And trying to kind of finally settling in here in the new facility. I know it's been a big move adjusting for everybody to try to get to everything done, but I think the snakes are doing great. Everybody's staying healthy with fresh water, fresh food, you know. And he's definitely looking a whole lot more healthy. <clears throat> I will say we may have to help this our rat friend out and get him moving out from around the back corner back here because he wants to hide behind the water bowl. But I think we'll do good with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. See the awesome strike. We caught that one, I think, pretty good. Maybe I can get a good slow-mo in there. And we'll time lapse this thing on out. So as always, make sure you guys check out those awesome links I got down in the description. I love making these videos, but it definitely helps out with every little bit. So if you go check that out, I'll be greatly appreciative. And we'll go ahead and get it started.
Thank you.